This federal election, you have plenty of options in who to vote for. Australia is not a two-party system. Our preferential voting system means you can vote for minor parties without wasting your vote. One message all the evidence tells us that needs to be spread to every citizen enrolled to vote is don't vote for the Liberal Party. Since winning power of federal government in 2013, the Liberal National Coalition have achieved very little and what they have achieved has been damaging, harmful, corrupt and destructive. The list is literally too long to cover in this video, but here's a taste of some of what the Liberal government has subjected Australia to in the last eight years. The Liberal government dropped Australia from seventh least corrupt country in the world to 13th by 2018, fueled by government scandals like sports rorts, robo debt, water buyback scandals, Western Sydney airport land purchased at over 10 times its value from a Liberal party donor, ex-ministers using government allowances to look for work overseas, minister after minister being handed post-government jobs with companies who benefited from the portfolios those ministers managed, public funds used for branch stacking, misleading election material designed to look like official AEC posters, unreported ministerial gifts and benefits, misused ministerial allowances, bushfire safety grants being funnelled into Liberal seats, Grants and payments awarded without required tenders. The biggest example being $444 million, the largest government donation ever, awarded to a company without tender after only three days of scrutiny. This isn't even close to the full list of all the corruption and scandals that the public is aware of. If you care about corruption and integrity, don't vote for the Liberal Party. The Liberal Party love to talk up their economic credentials but in reality, their failures have been constant. They took us into a per capita recession before the pandemic hit. Real wages were 0.7% lower in 2019 than they were upon the Liberals gaining power six years earlier. Australian wage growth is ranked 33rd out of 35 OECD nations. Australia has the third least affordable housing market in the world. Just 20% of Australians hold almost two thirds of the nation's wealth, making Australia the 11th most unequal nation in the OECD. When state premiers, business leaders and unions forced the federal government to implement a wage insurance scheme in 2020, they waited weeks to deliver payments, miscalculated the budget by tens of billions of dollars and ceased payments before the crisis was over. When Victoria, the second biggest state in the country, was hit by another outbreak, the federal government refused financial support for casual workers for weeks. Australian productivity is fifth worst in the OECD and is currently experiencing negative growth. As well as completely avoidable, record levels of unemployment and underemployment. World Bank measures of ease of starting and operating businesses has seen Australia slip multiple places in the rankings. It's objectively harder to make money in Australia now than it was a decade ago. If you care about the economy and your own finances, don't vote for the Liberal Party. Australia is 54th out of 61 countries measured for climate response. Is it any wonder when the government blows its entire climate budget on a single fundraising company without oversight? Australia ranks 18th globally for most energy consumption. Despite a public pledge to make Australia a world leader, Australia's contribution to recycling has worsened under Scott Morrison, with recycling dropping 3% and total waste increasing 10%. Australia has the second highest level of biodiversity deterioration in the world, and hundreds of species are now threatened, endangered or extinct. Native forests have been destroyed in the last eight years, shrinking by 34%, the highest rate of loss in the world more than three times the second worst country. If you care about the future of our planet, don't vote for the Liberal Party. Education spending under Liberal governments has fallen in the last decade, contributing to Australian students falling five places in science outcomes rankings and seven places in mathematics outcomes. If you care about education, don't vote for the Liberal Party. Australians are paying more for healthcare under the Liberal Party costs are up more than 30% for GP visits and more than 50% for specialists. 
During multiple coronavirus outbreaks in private aged care facilities overseen by the federal government, workers were found to be working at multiple sites, being encouraged to violate safety rules and vaccines were not delivered to priority individuals. If you care about health, don't vote for the Liberal Party. Aged care facilities were allowed to take public money and pay millions in dividends while spending as little as $6 a day per resident on food, as well as fewer staff per resident and lower levels of training for staff. If you care about aged care, don't vote for the Liberal Party. The Liberal Party has made a habit of announcing promises that are never kept. A $4 billion emergency relief fund announced in 2019 hadn't spent a single dollar by 2021. The vast majority of bushfire relief funds announced in 2020 have not been delivered. People are still living without homes. Morrison announced $1 billion for tourism stimulus. No money was delivered to tourism operators. An economic recovery scheme billed as JobMaker promised 450,000 jobs, but delivered just 609 jobs in its first six months. The Home Builder Scheme was announced to support 27,000 applicants. Months later, it had yet to release a single dollar. The announcement of a COVID vaccine deal turned out to be so misrepresentative that the manufacturer thought the announcement was about a different company. When the vaccine was available, the government's own rollout target of 4 million doses delivered by the end of March 2021 was missed, falling short by over 3 million doses. In May 2021, a breach of state-managed hotel quarantine in South Australia spread to Victoria, which had to endure another mass lockdown. The constitutionally mandated federal government responsibility for quarantine and vaccine rollouts was so lacking that while comparable nations were achieving 40 to 50% full vaccinated, Australia languished behind at only 2%. Tony Abbott promised no cuts to the ABC. The Liberal Party delivered cuts of $738 million since 2013. They promised NBN delivered cheaper and faster. In support of this, they censored official costs, including estimates and actual spend, as well as lying about costs under the previous government. In reality, the final budget was nearly doubled and their deadline overshot by years, all to deliver a substandard result with Australia ranked 61st for global broadband speeds. If you care about a government actually delivering and meaning what it says, don't vote for the Liberal Party. In 2021, details of various rape and sexual harassment accusations involving Liberal Party staffers and cabinet members were revealed to the public. An internal review revealed that in four years, there were 76 complaints against staff, 38 relating to the conduct of parliamentarians and five related to sexual harassment. There were no dismissals or resignations and no attempt to improve internal culture or reporting processes. If you care about women, don't vote for the Liberal Party. This is barely scratching the surface. We could easily list 100 more reasons why the Liberal Party's corruption, lies and incompetence should disqualify them from the position of enormous privilege and responsibility that is governing this country. You might not think much of any other parties, some may even have some of the same problems. You don't have to switch to Labor. Australia is not a two-party system and preferential voting means you cannot waste your vote. Whoever you choose to vote for, one thing is clear. The Liberal Party have had eight years in power and there's no evidence to suggest they've made the country a better place. Quite the opposite. Australia and the people that call Australia home are objectively worse off now than we were in 2013 and every indication is that it will only get worse under this government. For the good of the nation, for the good of our future, for the good of our children, for the good of ourselves, and all that is important to us, don't vote for the Liberal Party. Share this with everyone you know. Australia has suffered under these corrupt, uncaring bastards for too long. We can't be made to suffer any longer. Don't vote for the Liberal Party.